We're at the Caldwell County Habitat Restore. This restore's hours are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 9 to 4. So here's a shot around the store, and y'all know we're going to get into all the areas and talk about a deal. You get two bar stools here for $30. I love the modern look, the chrome on them. And here's a brand new three-piece sectional, $325. And this autumn's been marked down. It's a light brown leather recliner for $150. And here's some ladder back chairs, they're $5 each. And y'all, I don't know if we'd seen this sofa before or not, but I just love the color of it. It's $115, I love that camelback design. And here's an armless chair, $45, I really like that brocade look on it. And it's got some nail head trim, 45 bucks for that. Okay, hands down, fantastic deal, my favorite fonts. It's a set of six vintage mahogany shield back needlepoint dining room chairs, all six pieces, $75. Oh, I think they're beautiful. I love the design on them. Look at that needlepoint work. That is a steal of a deal, fabulous font, all of the above. <laughs> oh, I think they're so pretty. And I ran across so many great vintage pieces the day I was here. Here's a mid-century silverware set by Holmes and Edwards, 46 pieces for $50. I love that design, anything floral. And they still have a few of their cut glass pieces here, so let's just take a quick look. Here's a serving dish for $2.50, and I actually found a piece from the late 1800s coming up. Oh, I was so excited. I'm not sure the date of this piece. They've got it for $18. I love the design on it. It looks to me like it could be from the 1950s, maybe 60s. And here it is, that gift for your friend who was everything. For $4, you could get them this fancy camel. <laughs> and for a dollar more, you could throw in the scarf. You know they're not going to have one of those. Here's a wooden school chair for $18. This is such a throwback for me as well. This is what we had whenever I went to school. <laughs> y'all have to let me know, did y'all have chairs like this? I left this in. It's only $10. It's a folding stool. And I got to tell you, that actually is pretty comfortable. And y'all know I love all the dishes, so we're going to take a quick peek. All of these would be perfect as toothbrush holders, and I think all of these vases are $2 each. That one's pretty. Homer Laughlin. I just love the shabby chic vibe. Just very, I don't know, it could be country chic. This one is St. Paul, and I think that might be a piece of ironstone. It was a little bit heavier. Oh, and I really like this one with the design. And that's a Maddox porcelain piece, Lamberton Royal Porcelain, possibly from the 1800s to the early 1920s. Oh, and that one's nice. Aren't these beautiful? And they'd be perfect, just little flower vases sitting around. I think it'd be perfect as a grouping on a table. No, oh, I like the purple. You know I like the purple. Oh, and that one's pretty with the orange. Oh, and an older mug, 250. And these are milk glass salt and pepper shakers, a set of two for four dollars. And these felt heavier. And milk glass candle holders, $2 each. And $2.50 for the milk glass pitcher. 
And let's see, the creamer is $2. Oh, and I thought this was so pretty. You could use it as a trinket dish or a soap dish, 50 cents. And just a quick trip through their fabric. Again, you've got to buy the entire roll, but look at this fabric. That was only $2. Here's a larger roll, $6. And like I said before, these are extras that come from the furniture factories. It's high-end, high-quality fabric. Oh, I really like this one, $3. I think that make beautiful curtains or pillows. And here's a large roll, $28. You could do a larger project with that. Fantastic deal for that quality of fabric. And I like this one because I liked both sides of the fabric, $12 for that roll. Oh, and that one's fancy, $4. And here's a vintage handmade quilt for $50. And the pattern's called Grandmother's Flower Garden. Oh, I thought that was so pretty. I love yo-yo quilts. I don't know if y'all know what that is or not, but I just love all of those different patterns and colors on a quilt. All right, maybe another gift for that friend who was everything. So for $4, you could get four cans of J.R. Ewing's beer. And it says, if you have to ask how much my beer cost, you probably can't afford it. Who out there remembers watching Dallas and J.R. Ewing? So definitely a throwback. And you know, I love the pictures at the ReStore. This one caught my eye. I love the purple mat. It's $15. And it looks like these Victorian ladies are out for a stroll and one girl was brave enough to climb the tree in her fancy dress to get the blooms down for everybody. So I thought that was really nice. <laughs> nice of her to do that. Okay, I found another journal for us. So it says question and answer a day, 365 questions, five years, over a thousand possible answers. So it says pick a color for today. What inventions can you not live without? Y'all be thinking about that because I want you to let me know. And then, are you messy or are you neat? Are you hesitating? So it's got lots of things that you can journal about. How do you want to be remembered? What are you exploring? And let's see, are you working hard or hardly working? What can you smell right now? <laughs> what a weird question. And talk about, you never know what you're gonna find at these restores. Here's a saddle for $70. And here's the riding helmet for 10. I gotta tell y'all, I'm afraid of horses. I think they're beautiful, but I'm afraid of them. And they gave me some information on this. I had seen these over the years. So this is actually a wedding cake compote. It can also be used as a candy dish. And look at that, you could set it on the lid to make it even fancier. And this is a piece of high C class, circa 1890s to 1950s. And it's got a diamond emblem in the center with an H on it. That's how you know it's a true piece of high C class. So I thought that was interesting too. That bowl was only $3. And this, this is an antique Victorian Duncan Miller Mardi Gras design decanter circa 1896 listed online between 30 and 55 dollars but you could get it here i think it was two dollars three dollars can you believe that fantastic find unbelievable that that made it all these years and this is another great find for pottery so this is a piece of balik pottery it's a shamrock bread plate listed online between 60 and 80 dollars but you could get it here for three dollars fantastic deal. This is another great find. So this is Blue Ridge Pottery Folk Art Pieces. They're from the 1930s through the 1950s. They've got these plates here for $2 each. Online they go for $12 and up. And these were hand painted from the Southern Appalachia area. And typically they hired local women to come in and paint the designs. You know, they would only paint, like one person would only do leaves all day, one would only do blooms all day. But these are true works of art. No two plates are the same. Oh, I had to show you all this. So it's a vintage secretary with a drop down desk, $65. I love the fretwork on these pieces. And I really like that they're smaller, more compact pieces so they could go in more areas. Isn't that just fabulous? I love old furniture. I don't know, she's got a few scratches on her, but like I always say, a touch up marker, those are gonna go away. 
and you know we have to take a look inside and it's still got the skeleton key with it. Oh, I just love everything about that furniture. And here's a whole face, $2. Oh, and I really like this. It's only $3, so it's a metal cookbook stand. And it's got a rooster motif on it. $3 for that. Okay, who out there remembers back in the day, you go to the gas station, you top off the gas, and you get a piece of pressed glass dishware. They told me that these pieces were possibly part of that giveaway. So I found another great throwback. I found some Big Top peanut butter glasses. Who out there remembers Big Top peanut butter? So here's their glasses, and I think they came in a large and a small size. A dollar for the large glass here, and I think the medium or the smaller glass was 50 cents. Who out there remembers getting their peanut butter in these glass jars? I remember my grandmother having some of these glasses, so I'm sure that's where she got them from. And these are enamelware bowls, $1.50 for the smaller one. And let's see, I think the medium ones were $3. It's kind of hard to find the price tag on these things. <laughs> let's see. Oh, there it is, $3 for the uh, larger platter. Aren't those pretty? I didn't see a thing in the world wrong with those. Oh, and I really like this red one, $3. They look like they've never been used. And here's some more ceramic bowls, and again, they look like they're brand new. This one's $1.50. Oh, and let's see, made in Portugal, a dollar. Oh, and I like this one, $1.50 hand painted. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, and I thought this was a really cool find. So for $40, it's an old U.S. military cooler. It looks like it was from 1961. I guess it's the earliest version of Yeti. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if it actually worked very good. And this restore gets some amazing furniture in from the local furniture companies. They didn't have all of these pieces priced the day I went, but I just wanted to show you. So it's a power motion recliner on both sides. Look at that nail head trim. Oh my gosh. And these typically are way, way below what they be retail. And here's a beautiful reclining chair. And that leather was so soft, just so fancy. And talk about fancy, look at this recliner. So that's like acrylic arms on it, just very modern. And that's a power motion recliner as well. And here's a pale green ottoman with wooden legs, $65. Oh, and look at this oak headboard footboard with the carvings on it. They didn't have it priced yet either, but I had to show you. And same here. This is a brand new vanity. I love the dark color on it. You know someone's going to get a still of a deal with that. I think my cat would love that cubby hole to the side. <laughs> I'd probably never get him out of there. That'd be his new home. Oh, and I just wanted to show you all this cart for $15. My mom has one similar to that. She just loves it for getting her groceries from her cart into her house. So you never know what you're going to find at these restores. All right, so I asked y'all earlier, what's one invention you cannot live without? Mine would be a washer and dryer. One of my grandmothers washed clothes on an old washboard. My other grandmother had a ringer washer. Oh, that thing was so dangerous. It seems like she's always getting her arm caught in it. But y'all have to let me know below what's one invention you cannot live without. Thank y'all so much for coming with me. And until next time, come go with me today. Bye.